What's going on? My name is Joey Malinsky, owner and operator of ATB Productions. Back in the dungeon again, this time wearing a suit uh, because I wanted to look fancy down here. I wanted to look presentable to my dog. Once again, we have this problem as a video production professionals. How are we getting our clients messaging out? They still need to communicate with their clients. Today, I want to talk about stock footage and user generated content, content that's already been created. As we know, there was a before COVID, there was a life we lived and we have videos of it. And even if it doesn't look good, it still is life. You know it's their personal footage. It doesn't have to be professionally shot to have an emotional connection. I've been pairing that with stock foot. And I know you're thinking, oh, stock, stock's gross. Stock is gross, or it was gross. Now, there's beautiful stock footage. Stock footage looks better than the crap I shoot sometimes. So it still looks professional when you mix the two and you blend in graphics. It's still professional, it still hits their quality of brand, but we aren't adding any new elements that we need to go shoot. So we're not breaking any social distancing. It's obviously been done tons of times before. Now, it's almost what we have to make. And these stock footage sites actually have a lot more COVID related content because guess what? Everybody sitting at home, with cameras and good equipment and doing nothing. So there's been a lot more created. Some good ones like this lady hoarding some TP. Oh, that's a good one. What about this mask guy? He was all right in the eyes and then that beard. Come on, you can't use that. Obviously these scientists have no idea what they're doing. We're just gonna label this bottle COVID-19. Yeah, let's just, these aren't scientists. These are the people quarantined with the other people shooting the stuff. Hey, you wanna play a doctor today? Sure. Let's do it. In the end, it comes down to storytelling, grabbing the audience in, great copywriting, great music, great voiceover performances, and the edit. Here, I'll make an ad right now. You know, just what I'm talking about. Today is different than yesterday. Yesterday's gone. We need to innovate, motivate, generate, because we are America. And we believe in bigger than better things. Because this coronavirus isn't going to stop us from buying TP and more TP. So get back out there, America. And, well, don't get back out there right now. Like, wait a little bit. But um, we will get, we will eventually get back out there, America. And be the country we know we were once before this. And have, we're going to be good, I think. Please. ATBproductions.com one of the problems with stock footage is everybody has the same stock footage. Same thing with the same music. I don't know how crimey I feel when I see another video using the song I just used or a song I used a while ago. And especially when you get in those edits that are just painful and you've been hearing that song and when you when you see an ad with an other ad, you like go back to that dark spot. And you're like, oh, I remember those days. And it's not even your ad. So I'm constantly looking for new stock music, new galleries. I subscribe to two of them now. And I recently found a new one that I like because it's a little more personal. It's Pleasant Pictures Club. They work for some of the big dogs in the industry and they've decided to put together a library and it's cool because you get a little personal context. So that's what I'm using for this video, but also what I'm making for my clients. I'm gonna use it because it feels a little more custom. And that's what we're always going for. Eventually they'll get too big and too many people and I'll be like, ooh, I hate that song again. But right now they're pretty awesome, they're pretty fresh. They actually gave me a custom coupon code. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead. So anyway, that's what I've been working on. Let me know what you've been working on. Also, let me know why Blackmagic's LED, LCD doesn't rotate all the way around. So I have to put up my monitor to see myself instead of just flipping it around like, hey, Black Magic, it's been a while. You could just, just turn it around. You know, nobody wants to hook up another piece of equipment, especially in the basement. Come on now. 